Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. I'm going to answer an email that was asked, how do I make my body less insulin resistant and what can I do about it? But before I do that, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. I always appreciate growing an audience. If you haven't done so already, it'll take you two seconds. Huge favor. Hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification. Facebook fans, if you're watching, thank you very much. Please hit the like button and if you find this information valuable, share with a friend. If you have any comments or suggestions on topics, I always appreciate reaching out to a bigger audience and more topics. Please even leave them down below. And if you want to schedule a 15 minute consultation, please follow the link below, because I'll be more than happy to talk to you either on the phone or Zoom to see if I could help you or someone you know. So thanks for watching. Okay, I'm gonna answer an email that I got from one of my viewers, and that is how do I make my body less insulin resistant? Because this individual, they're toe tapping on metabolic syndrome, insulin resistant, and they just don't know what to do about it and they don't want to go on medication. So let's first and foremost, let's talk about what you want to do when your cells are insulin resistant. The goal is, is to make your cells less insulin resistant and more insulin sensitive. It's like a teeter-totter. The more sensitive your cells are, the less insulin you're going you're gonna to pump out from your pancreas. And what is insulin? Insulin has many functions. One of it, in a nutshell, it regulates blood sugar. It ab helps absorb nutrients. And the problem is, is that when we have, when we're dishing out too much insulin due to too many carbohydrates, the other function of insulin is to store it as, as triglycerides for energy later on. Yes, that can be a good thing and a bad thing. However, when you're pumping out so much insulin, the thing is, you're not losing weight. You cannot lose weight when you're pumping out insulin. The cell doesn't work that way. So, but what is insulin resistant? Insulin resistant is when, what's going on is that it disrupts the body's ability to regulate blood sugar levels. And what happens is that the cell rece the receptor is being blocked from getting into the cell. Insulin cannot get into the cell. So what happens when insulin cannot get into the cell? Due to the feedback loop to the pancreas, it says, hey, we need more. We need more insulin. And what happens, the pancreas starts dishing out anywhere from seven to 10 times more insulin because you're, getting, you're not getting into the cell because the receptors are blocked. And what happens with insulin resistance, it's the number one symptom of metabolic syndrome, which will eventually turn into type two diabetes. Okay, so when it comes to what your goal, when it comes to insulin resistance, your goal is to make the cells more insulin sensitive, and it's really simple on how you do it. So one of the things that I always recommend is diet. Diet is everything. What you want to do with a diet is that you want to reduce the carbs, reduce the, the carbohydrates because it's the sugar that pumps out that makes the pancreas pump out the insulin. So what your goal is is to reduce the amount of carbohydrates, and you want to replace that with fiber-rich foods. Exercise. I can't stress it enough. Exercise, exercise, exercise because glucose stored in your muscles and liver as glycogen, 75% of it stored in your muscles, 25% is stored in your liver. When you exercise with any type of weight resistant exercise, what's going on is that you're actually increasing the amount of insulin receptors so you could utilize more of the glucose that is being stored in the body. So basically you're actually increasing the amount of insulin receptors by increasing the amount of training. So what's happened is that you're making your cells less insulin resistant and more insulin sensitive. You're utilizing this, the glucose, you're utilizing the insulin. Vegetables, vegetables are key because not only they fill with antioxidants and all these phytonutrients, but also what it does, it helps lower the insulin resistant resistance. In addition, sleep and de-stress. I paired these two up. Why? Because when you get good night's sleep, your body is repairing itself. What's happening is that you are getting less insulin resistant, more insulin sensitive. In addition, you're lowering your cortisol. Cortisol, glucocorticoid, okay, glucose, what happens is that when you're stressed out, it releases sugar from the liver. In addition, if you release sugar from the liver because it's a glucocorticoid, yes, you're starting to pump out more insulin. 
This is why people are so stressed out cannot lose weight. The people are so stressed out become metabolic syndrome. People are so stressed out can become type 2 diabetics and so forth. So the key is sleep and de-stress. Whether de-stress from, you know, take a walks, yoga, read, meditate, anything that is going to help de-stress your body. Decrease inflammation. Inflammation from where? It could be anywhere from diet. Do you have food allergies? Are you taking in the standard American diet? Wheat, gluten, dairy, soy, sugar, peanuts, which will cause systemic inflammation anyways. So are you getting inflamed from the diet? Are your hormones imbalanced? Gallbladder, something wrong with your gallbladder. Is your, gall, are your, is your gallbladder mucked up, which is the function of the gallbladder is to break down the fat, the fats, emulsify fats, and also help lubricate your colon. Do you have gallbladder issues? Or do you suffer from old injuries? Do you have that chronic old injury, that chronic elbow pain or knee pain or back pain or just chronic all over? Because when you're in a chronic injuries, the cortisol gets released with the insulin and this is where you become more insulin resistant. So take care of the old injuries because that, that is a big, big deal in help regulating the blood sugar levels, helps regulate the insulin levels. How do you do it? Yes, you regulate the diet. Of course, of course always my first approach is watch your diet. But also a supplement, supplements help. Cinnamon. I always say sprinkle cinnamon on food. Cinnamon makes your cells more insulin sensitive. In addition, green tea, green tea extract. Phenomenal to make your body more insulin sensitive. Supplements. 10,000 I use of vitamin D3. 100 micrograms of vitamin K2. That in itself will make your body more insulin sensitive. CoQ10. Coenzyme CoQ10 is phenomenal for the muscles. When you utilize the muscles, when you have more fuel for the muscles, what's happening? You're making your cells more insulin sensitive. In addition to zinc, chromium, chromium picolinate, again, it helps make your cells more insulin sensitive. Alpha lipoic acid, L carnitine, turmeric. Turmeric is phenomenal as an anti inflammatory. It's, it's phenomenal to help regulate blood sugar, it's phenomenal to help stabilize those insulin levels. So I hope this helps. There's many causes that will give you insulin resistance, but again, the main goal is, is you want to make your cells more insulin sensitive. So I hope this helps. If you have any comments, leave them down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Be good.